Okay, we have had some issues with PDF files not being able to be created properly using the Adobe PDF driver, uh, generally in Revit. Uh, so this, the purpose of this video is to instruct you on how to properly configure your Adobe PDF printer driver so that it will work correctly with Revit. Uh, everyone needs to have this done the same way. Uh, Revit references some of the names that are configured in your Adobe PDF printer driver, so everyone has to have their printer driver configured the same. Uh, this is so that you can verify a setting in case something goes wrong. Uh, as you can see, I've got up uh, devices and printers. You saw me pull that up, clicking on the start button and clicking on devices and printers. Uh, I'm going to right click on the Adobe PDF printer driver and I'm going to select printing preferences. Uh, and you can see uh, right off the bat that I have a few settings that are a little bit different here. Uh, for starters, one of the things that I do is I have a default output folder for all my PDF files that I create through the Adobe PDF driver. And I have that saved to my documents folder uh, called PDF files. Uh, and this is just my way of keeping all this uh, organized uh, in my own PDF files directory. I, I mean, you can see I've got quite a list of, of things here, and the truth is I need to delete most of them. Uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, default by saving this information. I'm going to have a default save output folder. Uh, some of you may want that on your desktop. I do not recommend you putting this to a network location. Uh, either place it in your desktop or place it in your My Documents folder, one of those two places. Um, also, the Adobe PDF page size, this, having these setups are absolutely critical to have them configured properly. Uh, if this name is different from one computer to the next, even if in, instead of 30x42, uh, if the X is capitalized, if there's no spaces on either side of the X, uh, it will not work properly in Revit, May will very likely give you a, an error message there. Uh, so I'm going to uh, click on the Add button, and this allows me to modify my page sizes or add additional ones. As you can see, I've got a 30 by 42, and that's a lowercase x with the space on either side of the x. It's 30 inches wide, and it's 40, 42 inches tall, so its definition is portrait-oriented. Uh, where it's longer vertically than it is horizontally, and that's fine. We'll adjust that in a different part of the dialog to set it to landscape, but we want it set this way. I'm going to go through and I'm going to go through adding a page size in here. What I don't have uh, is a 22 by 34, an ANSI B size, so I'm going to add that page size. You can see I already have a 24 by 36, but I'm going to add a 22 by 34. I'm going to set its width and its height accordingly click the Add button, and there it is. I now have a 22 by 34 inch page size that can be used when creating PDFs. I do not want to see viewing the PDF page results. I do not want to show that, and the reason is if you're doing a batch print from Revit, it is going, Revit, or, or the printer driver is going to continuously throw up every PDF uh, individually as it's being made because when we create PDFs from Revit we want each sheet to be its own PDF so we do not want to have especially during a very large bat plot, batch plot we don't want to see uh, a Adobe PDF continuing to throw sheets up at us so we don't want to see that right now rely on system fonts only do not use document fonts uh, this one's pretty critical uh, we will we have received error messages uh, from consultants because they have, they have configured their PDFs to use a document-specific font, and those don't always translate. Uh, so there we are. There's, there's all that. To change between landscape and portrait, I'm going to click on the Layout tab. We want it, actually want this to be set to landscape. I'm going to click on my Advanced button. We do, need, we do not need our print quality at 1200 dpi. We can bring that down to 300 dpi. Uh, that's perfectly fine. That's actually the maximum, I believe, that our uh, large format printer will be able to reproduce. So I'm going to bring that down to 300 dpi. Uh, we'll also make the PDFs uh, a bit smaller as well. So there we go. There's that. Everything here is set. Paper quality. It's perfectly okay to have this set to color. 
that's fine. The applications that we use will handle whether the objects we see on the PDF are color or in black and white. So I'm just we're just going to leave this as is. We're done with this. I'm going to click Apply and click OK. Those are the proper settings for your Adobe PDF print driver, uh, especially for use in Revit. Do not use the Adobe PDF printer driver when making PDFs out of AutoCAD. AutoCAD has its own PDF driver. This is for Revit. This is for Excel, PowerPoint, Photoshop, whatever. Uh, this is not for AutoCAD, but this is only for Revit.